Hey guys, and welcome back to another reading journal video. Today it's time for my June plan with me. I know it's a little bit later than usual and we are already in June, but I thought I'd still do it because I'm doing the spreads anyway and maybe you can take some inspiration from this for the other months. For June, I decided to go with a kind of Suyo Ghibli theme. Um, you can recognize that a little bit better um, in the following pages. But I just really love the aesthetic of it and I haven't watched too many. I think I only watched like two movies from Studio Ghibli because I never saw them uh, growing up. But I definitely want to catch up on them because I really enjoyed the two movies that I already saw. However, the main inspiration for the spread was not Studio Ghibli, but rather the stickers that are going to be featured in the spread. Um, I just really wanted to use them because, I don't know, I just had this urge to use these stickers. I don't know why. So yeah, once again, I printed out some photos that you've already seen in the first clips from Pinterest and they're going to be linked down in the description. And I also used some notebook paper underneath to make it just less blank. And I also used my washi tape from Paper Geek Co. And here are the stickers that I just talked about. I have tons of these butterflies and for some reason I just really felt like using them. So yeah, this is the perfect spread for that, I think. And as always, on the right side of my title page, I have my favorite book of the month spread. So I just filled this out with the cover of my favorite book from June, when June is over, obviously. And I just write a couple of things about it. And on the next page, we have my June TBR, and I wanted to use my stamps for this. And then my camera decided to cut off is this really a journaling video of mine if my camera does not decide to cut off? So yeah, I just tried to use my stamps. However, it got really smudgy, so I had to do the same thing on one of these notebook papers and just put it on top. And I added some stars with my silver pen and some washi tape, and then I wrote down my entire TBR. For some reason, my TBR game had no mercy whatsoever for the fact that I am in a, in a massive reading slump. And yeah, as you can see, it is quite big. So wish me luck. But thankfully, I think I'm slowly getting out of my reading slump. Um, a lot of these uh, books on my TBR are actually books that I'm going to listen to on audio. So yeah, I think that's really going to help me get out of my reading slump. And I can already feel that I'm in the reading mood again, which is a good sign. And here is the first Studio Ghibli photo of my neighbor Totoro. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, this is actually a movie that I have already seen. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, and yeah, I really, really loved it. And I think it's so cute. So I had to include a picture of the movie.
My next spread is, as always, my book's red spread, and I'm once again using another photo from a Studio Ghibli movie, which is Kiki's Delivery Service, which is one that I haven't seen, but the images were just so cute, so I had to put one of them in there, and it's definitely high up on my list of Studio Ghibli movies that I still want to watch. And this is what the final spread looks like. I'm really, really happy with it. I think it looks really cozy, really aesthetic with the colors and the butterflies. It's just really happy and cute and yeah. I wasn't the biggest fan of last month's spread to be honest, so it's great to have another spread that I'm really excited about. Um, in my reading journal. So yeah, I hope you like it too. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and give this one um, a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye guys.